आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट्स का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ If both expressions x squared minus three x plus two and x squared minus four x plus three equal zero, then what is the value of x minus three whole square? Option one zero, option two one, option three two, or option four four. Okay. So the two e- expressions that have been given to us in the question are. this one and this one it has been said that both of them are equal to 0 okay so equating both the expressions to 0 we can write that the first expression which is x square minus 3x plus 2 x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 and similarly the second expression which is x square minus 4x plus 3 is also equal to 0 okay so basically we now have two quadratic equations and we have been asked to find the value of x minus 3 whole square now considering this equation x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 we can observe that this is a quadratic equation which can simply be solved by factorization okay so factorizing the left hand side of the equation We write this equal to x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, because minus 3x can be written as minus 2x minus x. Now, taking x common from the first two terms, we have x into x minus 2, and taking minus 1 common from the next two terms, we have minus 1 into x minus 2. Okay, equal to 0. Now taking x minus two common, we have x minus two into x minus one equal to zero. Okay. Now the two values of x that will be obtained from this quadratic equation will be obtained by equating these two equal to zero. That is x minus two and x minus one equal to zero. Okay. so the two values of x from the first equation will be x equal to 2 and x equal to 1 okay so this equation gives two values of x that are x equal to 2 and x equal to 1 now shifting focus to this equation this again is a quadratic equation that can easily be solved by factorization the left hand side of the equation can be written as x square minus 3x minus x plus 3 equal to 0 as minus of 4x can be written as minus 3x minus x now again taking x common from the first two terms we have x into x minus 3 and taking minus of 1 common from the next two terms we have minus 1 into x minus 3 equal to 0 now taking x minus 3 common we have x minus 3 into x minus 1 equal to 0 so we have completed the factorization of this equation and the two values of x from this equation will be obtained by equating x minus 3 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0 so from here we have the value of x to be equal to 3 whereas from here we have the value of x to be equal to One, okay. So as per this equation, the value of x can be two or it can be one. Whereas as per this equation, the value of x can be three or it can be one. So the common value of x that we obtain from both the equations is one, okay. Because x equal to one is the solution of both these equations. So we can conclude that the value of x is one. because it should satisfy both these equations so we can conclude that x equal to 1 and now that we have been asked to find the value of x minus 3 whole square we can write that x minus 3 whole square equal to 1 minus 3 whole square as x equal to 
and min 1 minus 3 is minus 2 hence minus 2 whole square equal to 4 hence the required answer is 4 and going through the options we can see that option 4 is the correct option class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 par